Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Steph. I'm so happy to have you here. Today I'm here with a thrift store haul. My sisters and I recently went thrift store shopping and had a blast. Ended up hitting up probably six thrift stores or so, spending a couple hours in each on average, and I am here with a massive haul. So we've got a little bit of everything. I've got um, some clothing, some books, home decor, kitchen stuff. Uh, so hopefully this isn't too long, but let's get started. I'm going to start with my youngest, Celestia, just turned one and picked up some really cute things for her. The first is this dress. Got the ruffles in the front and then some buttons down the back, which is so, so cute. Next we have this little navy polka dot sweater. Little buttons down the front. I love neutrals, which you'll see through. We have some pops of color, but the neutrals. And I apologize, some of this is wrinkly. Just another cute little shirt for fall. And then we have a pop of color, just a basic red shirt. And some of this stuff was Villa Bag for like $2, so um, really good price. Then we have an adorable little olive green dress little pleats in the front and I think that'll be so cute with some brown booties for fall. Another just kind of basic denim shirt with a little pocket in the front there. Another Zara baby corduroy jumper. I think this is adorable. This may not fit her this year. It might be next fall till this fits her but I don't know if you can see the little ribbon detail. Um, super cute, and again, pockets and then wooden buttons on the side. Next we have another little chambray dress. I love this color on her. Any blue really makes her eyes pop. So, can't wait for her to wear this also. Um, and then possibly my favorite find for her is this adorable little pea coat. How cute is that? Oh, I love it. It's gray, you got the little belt here, and then I love these um, scallops along the back there. So, can't wait for her to wear that. And then I have these little just like moccasin shoes. So, excited about that. That's all for Lessie. And then moving on to Hudson's, got a cute little plaid shirt and nice pair of Levi's. The age, like three-year-old boys, <laughs> do not keep clothes very well. They tend to get lots of stains and rips. So anyway, I'm excited about that. Adorable little sweatshirt. He loves this. And then got some colored pants. I can't convince my husband to wear colored pants yet, but my son does and I love it. Um, got a gray sweater for him. A lot of this stuff really looks like new. I um, look at tags often to see how worn a tag looks and a lot of these look brand new, so I'm excited about that. Got a pair of just basic navy pajamas for him. And can you believe it's almost fall? This just yells fall for me. Can't go wrong with a buffalo check black and white. It's got the little hood in the back. Yeah, super cute, I love that. And then we're moving on to Kyra. Got her a couple cute pieces. First is this little black skirt with the floral detail. Again, I don't know how well, these details are picking up on camera, but super cute. She loves skirts and she loves things that twirl, so this is right down her alley. I got her a little plaid, kind of like a rusty red and navy and cream colored shirt dress. I think this would be so cute with leggings and a pair of brown boots for fall. And then I also got her a Zara dress that actually, well, pretty much goes with the one I got for Lessie. They're meant to go together, but that could be cute for a little, like, matching outfit for the girls. And yeah, it has some cute embroidered details on it also, so excited for that. And then, oh, there's one more for her. This 
uh, another like kind of sweater dress with a head on it. So that's what I got for Kyra. And then we also swung by a yard sale the one morning where I found these Uncle Arthur's bedtime storybooks. I grew up with this set of them and loved them. Perfect for bedtime. And so yeah, I got both of these there for the kids, which they've already been enjoying stories from them. So excited for those. And then I got some things for myself. First up is these. I got two pairs of shoes. They're just kind of a natural brown, uh, kind of leather uh, flats. So excited for those. And then a pair of gold heels. I'm not a heel girl, but these aren't bad and they're super comfortable. So we'll see if we get a little wear out of those. Then I was really excited to find this. I had actually found this dress on Nisi's um, last year. Ended up not keeping it because of the price. Well, now I found it at a thrift store, the exact same dress, and still had the new tag on. So I'm really excited about that. Got all, like, so much lace all over. Gorgeous, gorgeous dress. Then I have two just kind of basic tees. This one is a plum colored, and then one that's rust orange. I thought both of these would be perfect for fall. Casual tee and super soft. Then I have just a pair of like skinny pull-on pants. Just loved how these felt on, again, maybe more of an everyday wear thing. Um, then we have this kind of Aztec print navy and cream vest with a hood on it. So I'm not a big vest girl, but I thought this was really cute for layering again for fall. I got a belt. It's just plain in the back and then has this like kind of faux leather ruffle in the front. We have this sweater, just kind of a knit look, um, like a mauve-ish color sweater. Love this one. It's kind of a chambray um, pleated skirt, if you can see that. Yeah, really fun wear. Then we're right into the check for fall, or gingham. Is this called gingham? I always get that mixed up. I think this is called gingham. But yeah, just uh, fun, again, for fall. And then the sleeves have a bit of a ruffle on them like that. And last, but not least <laughs> is this pea coat that I got. Super, super fun. The sleeves flare out a little bit. Um, it's got a hood in the back and a bit of a scallop here also. So yeah, I'm really excited for that find. <music> Moving on to kitchen stuff. We have a lot of wood going on here and white, that seems to be the theme. Some of this stuff may seem random because I enjoy fiddling around with uh, food photography. So some of it's just little odds and ends, but let's get started. So first are these two little wooden napkin rings. That and then uh, just a tiny little dish. Lots of wooden bowls, just some different styles. So this is a stack of four. These I would use actually just in daily uh, eating. I have one kind of a square, also wooden bowl. And then a set of four of these more shallow um, also wooden, like this is a pretty thick wood. It almost looks like a, just a slab cut. I don't know, I think they're pretty cool. Got a dressing bottle. I like making my own dressing. So yeah, pop tops off like that. And you can also pop this off for easy cleaning. So really excited about that. There were two of them and now I kind of wish I would have got both of them. And then I have three, there were six, and my bag ripped and three of them dropped. So that's too bad, but these are just little condiment bowls. Planning to do some cooking videos here for you soon. And so these are perfect for like a tablespoon of this and just like smaller condiments. So there's that. 
And I got a like ceramic white pie dish. I'm excited about that. I'm not the best pie maker as far as getting it pretty, so I hope this helps me out. Then we got these. There's maybe four or five in the set. It's little icing pouches. I always have trouble with if I try to put icing in Ziploc bags that it like squishes at the side. So this is nice. You can unscrew the top and fill them with icing. One of them actually divides in two so you can do two flavors at once and then you can like squeeze them like this. And they also came with probably five icing tips and then a lid so you can pop them in the fridge if you don't quite use all of it. So I'm excited about that. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before so we'll see how it goes. And then I have quite a bit of wooden utensils. These are all wooden. And then I have a stack of them that have the metal end. Um, I got these two fun little spoons. My grandma used to use spoons like this and so they have a little bit of sentimental value for me too, but I also do think they're just cute. I have these two little tea bag holders. There's tea drinkers at my house. In fact, my mother is the queen of tea. And so, yeah, this reminds me of her, but also just even for our home use. My kids took after grandma and love tea. It's a daily at our house, almost daily. Um, and then I have three random dishes, again, probably for food photography, although I might throw them in here and there. First of all is this gorgeous little dish. I love the pops of color on the edges. And then I have two, I don't know what it is, but I'm drawn to this kind of shade of blue in dishes recently. So I have that one and this one. This little stand. I'm not quite sure if it's meant for cheese or cake or all the above, but it's just a nice little wooden stand with this dome top. For Celestia's birthday, I actually put her smash cake in here and it was perfect for that. So we have that and then last but not least in the food section is this guy. It's a pizza stone that um, rotates. So that's going to be on hot demand for our weekly pizza night. Okay, on to the last section. We have a big pile of pillows and a couple of throws. So first up is this fur, just soft fur pillow. This one is beautiful. It's by Urban Barn. I'm not familiar with that brand, but I looked it up and they had this exact pillow listed on their website still for, I believe it was $42.99 and I got it for $6.99. So I'm really excited. It looks brand new. Um, then I've got this fun little kind of boho pillow. And all of these had the inserts in them, so that was nice. And then just this kind of camel color, or terracotta maybe. Love that, super comfy. Then for throws, I have this one for fall or winter. Just this plaid, and then the other side is super soft fur. So I'm like picturing this around the campfire with a cup of hot cocoa or something. Finally, the last item is this knit uh, throw. It's got the fringes on the end and then just a gorgeous knit pattern throughout. So it's an oblong shape so I'm guessing does this mean it's like for the end of a bed maybe? Anyway also really comfy so that is everything I got. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, let me know what you would like to see in the comments below if you have any requests. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.